This is your WCIA 3 forecast first, sponsored by Route 66 Solar. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, live in downtown Paxton. It is our town. That's right. Look behind me. Look at all this up here. Everybody wave up there. Look out there. They got a foam pit out here. There's bubbles everywhere. Tons of people here in downtown Paxton for our next edition of Our Town. And it is a beautiful but a warm Friday out here, that is for sure. As we switch over to our weather graphics, we'll talk about just how nice it is. We've got a little bit of a haze in the sky. Things are a little cloudy at some points, but that's actually helping things. It takes the sun away for a little bit. It makes it feel really good. As far as temperatures go, we're in the mid-80s right now. That's what it feels like. A little slight bit of humidity as well and as we go throughout the rest of tonight these temperatures will stay pretty mild but the big question so many people want to know about are we going to finally get some rain and I may have some good news for some of you which we'll talk about in the forecast when we come back as WCA 3 news and our town Paxton starts right now you're watching your local news leader live from our town Paxton this is WCIA 3 News at 5. Amanda. And welcome to our town, Paxton. We are excited to be ooh. here. And oh, look at what ice we got cream. here. A little ice cream. Uh, strawberry cheesecake, I yes. believe that is. I think that's mine. Okay. You wanted cookie dough, right? Cookie dough is coming up. So here's the deal. You come out here, you get yourself a ticket, starting right now, 5 o'clock. Free burgers, free ice cream and a lot more as well. Yeah, like you mentioned, oh, here's this cookie dough. Let's yeah, we're here with Ray Ann Moppin. She's been doing this for about 13 years, yeah. and it's just one element here in our town, Paxton. Brandon, you mentioned the free food. We've got foam. We've got monster trucks. We've got it all, and it is packed. Just look at the scene around us here. Next, we're going to head over to the monster trucks in a little bit here and really show you what's going on here and, in Paxton. And we do have a, a treat for you. We have a, a world-famous, renowned hat maker. Yes. Actually made one for a royal wedding. So you're going to want to stick around for that. There's a lot more from our town, Paxton, coming up. But for right now, we'll send it back to Marley in the studio for a check of today's news while we snack on these uh, ice cream. Pies. I'm jealous. Those ice creams look great. All right, have fun, you guys. We'll check in in a bit. Tolono's fun days are kicking off tonight, and one of the attractions will be the annual fireworks Saturday night. But the lack of rain in the area and dry grass is, of course, a concern. So the Tolono Fire Department is taking extra precautions to prevent a fire from happening. Firefighters have been watering the field where the fireworks will be launched. Tolono's fire chief says they've been doing that since Monday. Well, we put around 18 to 20,000 gallons of water um, on those fields last night. Um, we'll be out here again tonight around 7.30 or so um, to do that again. So we're, we're doing what we can to be as proactive as possible. He says they'll be using signals to communicate during the firework in case a spot fire does pop up so they can extinguish it pretty quick. Pasodam and Sedora's firefighters have been lending a hand with the watering. Speaking of Tolono Fun Days, there will be more than fireworks to enjoy tomorrow and today. People can listen to live music and watch a golf cart parade this evening with the main parade tomorrow night at 11. Organizers say this year's theme is It Takes a Village and they want to show visitors all the town has to offer. You just see these golden nuggets in my hometown here that are on, you know, this is like the centerpiece. This is the highlight of the year for them to really get the word out about how great Tolono is. The parade will stretch from Eastside Park to Westside Park, where live music, a beer tent, and a kitty tractor pole will be. The festival will also have a 5K run, a car show, and a flag ceremony. One Century Illinois group is celebrating 20 years of helping kids get a new pair of kicks. The, Share, the Spirit Foundation takes kids to shoe stores, letting them pick out a new pair, and even brings the shops to students sometimes by setting up a store. They rely heavily on donations from the community to make this all happen. The organization's co-founder says the shoes make a big difference for children and their families. Every time we have one of these events and you see the look on the kids' faces and the hugs and everything that you get from them, that's usually the response, and they're so excited about it. Um, and I feel like the parents... It's almost a relief that there's one less thing that they have to purchase or get for the kids. In the past 20 years, they've been able to get nearly 19,000 pairs of shoes to kids who need them, and their goal is to reach 20,000. All right, we're going to head over to our town, Paxton. Brandon, what are you guys up to? Paxton, where we have a special ribbon cutting to... Um, 
kind of just commemorate the uh, improvements to the downtown here. Looks beautiful, by the way. Mayor Bill Ingold is going to be doing the honors. State Senator Tom Bennett, thanks for joining us today, sir. Absolutely. And just kind of tell us about the improvements here. Well, about eight years ago, we decided we want to try and reinvent the wheel, so to speak. So we came down and thought it would be nice to have packs that look like 1959 packs and kind of like a Hallmark Village. So we were able to secure funds. We replaced the street for four blocks. In the block directly behind us, it was new sidewalks, curbs and gutters, new street lights, new pedestrian lights. And so far, the city's been able to help about 18 businesses with new facades, awnings, or windows. So we're really trying to dress it up and in order to attract other people to want to come to see packs and, and shop here. And it's really cool to see these old buildings. I don't know if you can see the mural just across the street here. You were telling me earlier about this building, built in 1867, put apartments on the second floor, opera house on the third floor. You've got a wine bar down the street and another building built about the same time. Yep. Oh, yeah, all of them are really cool. The, the wine bar is there. It's a place called Pax and Mercantile is there. We've got a lot of unique shops. We have a popcorn shop right over here. We've got a bakery. We've got another bakery opening up Tuesday morning and another one after that. So and a lot of good restaurants to eat. So uh, we have a lot to offer. All right. When, we'll show you all that. Let's go ahead and cut this, cut this ribbon. We'll give you a three, two, one. Three, two, one. Cut that ribbon. All right. There's a lot more from our town packs. And we're going to take a look with uh, our Sky 3 drone here. we got foam. We've got monster trucks. We've got ice cream. we got food. we got fun. we got people. Come on down, we're here till 7 o'clock. <laughs> From your local news leader, Jennifer Roscoe, Brandon Morano, and Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty. Live from our town, Paxton. And we are. And I'm joined here by Andy Hudson. Andy, you helped create something special here in Paxton. Tell me a little bit about this QR code tour of sorts. Okay. Uh, of course, Paxton has a rich history, and we're lucky that we've had a lot of people throughout the years that have documented that history. So some of the question is, how do we get it out there in a consumable fashion where people can actually find the history and learn about our um, buildings and unique heritage? So. so how exactly are we going about this? So we've created QR codes, and they will be at about 25 different sites throughout the community. And what people can do is just take their phone up to the QR code, 
it leads them to a website, and then that website will show them a history of that particular location. All right, let's get a little up close personal here. We have a QR code here. It's as easy as just taking out your phone like this. You go to your camera screen, and you just come right over to it here like this. And you see that yellow pop up? You click on it. And it's the Paxton History Tour site. If you zoom in here a little bit, you can see it on my phone. Tell me a little bit about a couple of the sites that stand out to you. So one of them is uh, Chautauqua, and that is a, um, a organization or a festival they used to have at Pell's Park over 100 years ago. So we'll have one of the QR codes at Pell's Park where people can scan it. They'll learn about that festival. Uh, not only see text about it, but they'll see several pictures from back in that era as well. The one you showed here was the Frederick Community Bank, which is uh, just right behind you here. And it shows where it was a bank and it was actually a theater uh, in the corner at the turn of the century in, in the 1900s. So um, each building just has its unique uh, profile that's captured through the QR code. And, some people are a little afraid of QR codes, so you can always just go to the website paxtonhistorytour.com and get the same information. Easy to do, definitely. You can see them all throughout downtown Paxton and the city as well. Next, we're going to send it over to Kevin for a quick check of the weather before we send it to break. Uh, yeah, we'll talk about the weather, but it's every kid's dream driving a monster truck, right? Take a look at this thing. This thing is gigantic. Wheel is as tall as I am. We're going to talk to the man that drives this thing here in just a little bit. So come back with us. We'll also talk about some weather. I'm going to try to get up there with Tom up there in the monster truck. We'll see if two can fit up there. That's coming out with more Our Town Paxton after the break.
I. Dow Central Illinois' most accurate forecast with meteorologist Kevin Lighty. We are inside of the monster truck right here. This is the man, the myth, the legend. It's Tom Mintz, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing great, man. Having a great time of day. Everybody here in Paxton's having fun with you guys in town. Well, listen, um, what are we in right now? You're in Max D. This is the 20th anniversary body. Max D's been around for 20 years. I myself have been driving 30 years this month. It's super exciting. What do you love the best about being able to drive this thing? Oh, the fans, man. The fans are fanatics. When you go to Monster Jam events, the fans go crazy. They don't, you know, everybody says, how do you drive Max D so wild? The fans do all the driving. I just pay attention to whatever they want to see out on the track. All right, so how high up are we right now? And some of these tires, like what are the size of the tires on this thing? Well, they're five and a half foot tall. They weigh 700 pounds. The truck's 12 foot tall, 12 foot wide, and it'll go 30 foot in the air. 30 feet in the air. You have this thing up 30 feet high. Yeah, and a lot of times that's upside down. But, you know, that's just a day at the office for me. What kind of gas mileage does this thing get? <laughs> it gets a lot of looks per mile. <laughs> <laughs> and um, here's my other question. You know, we're up in here. Um, is there AC in here? I could use some air conditioning in this thing. There's no AC. And, you know, it's going to be a hot time next weekend because we're at the World Finals in Nashville, Nissan Stadium. We're going to win another World Finals championship. Everybody root on Tom. That's it for Tom over here, the big monster truck over here. Tom, thanks for uh, taking the time to uh, chat with us. Hey, thanks for coming to town. We love our town, Paxton. We do indeed. All right, guys, Paxton, you guys are awesome. Let's talk about some weather. I'll tell you this. It's, it's warm in here, but it's just as warm outside, too. We'll go ahead and take a look at the satellite and radar picture right now, and things are looking looking uh, mighty fine. A little bit of a cloud cover out here. We've got uh, temperatures that are into the mid 80s right now, uh, looking very mild as we go throughout the course of tonight. We'll have readings heading down into the low and mid 60s for an overnight low tonight, and we'll find those temperatures staying quite warm. Now, the dew points, that's the thing. Humidity actually isn't terrible right now. It could be a lot worse. It's going to get worse by Saturday night and into the day on Sunday as well, where we're going to have those dew points getting back up into the 70s. It's going to feel really humid. Um, as we head into the day tomorrow in Paxton, there's the old water tower for you in Paxton. High temperatures will top out into the low and mid 90s. That's going to be a hot one out there, but I know what everybody wants. It's rain and it's coming our way. Look at the drought monitor here. And yes, in Paxton, severe drought is occurring as we speak. I, if I had a dollar for every person that came up and said, are we going to get rain? Yeah, I tell you what, we could all uh, we could all eat for free tonight in Paxton. Um, here's a look at the future track. It's going to show rain coming in late Saturday night into Sunday. Promising models showing that rain coming in. It looks really good, especially in these areas that need it the most. So again, overnight Saturday into Sunday morning is our best opportunity. And boy, I tell you what, I hope some of these model numbers are correct in terms of the amounts, because the amounts could be upwards of. Maybe an inch in some areas. That's what we're hoping for again in some of these uh, counties, Ford, Iroquois, Livingston County up here. We're going to watch that carefully for you. Otherwise, we're going to see things kind of calming down, and it's going to get pretty warm for us on Saturday, as I mentioned, at 94. But really, Saturday night into Sunday is your only rain chance. Let's take a look at the temperatures through uh, next week, and you can see it gets a little bit cooler with highs into the mid-80s for much of next week. All right, for tonight, we'll see those uh, overnight lows. Heading down into those low and mid-60s. For tomorrow, high temperature again, a warm one. Look at those mid-90s possibly for highs. And a look at your seven-day forecast. You're going to see things next week staying rather calm for us with, again, lots of sunshine, but those temperatures a little bit cooler. We'll give you one last look here inside the monster truck with Tom. Hey, guys. Uh, it's pretty cool up here. Um, how are you going to get? Oh, you just took the steering wheel off. What are you going to do now? <laughs> Most times, you know, they're easier to get out of because they end up rolling over. They're upside down, and you just crawl out the window. Tough to get in, but easy to get out. There you go, guys. All right, Todd, thanks again. But we're going to send things over to uh, Brandon right now. Brandon, uh, what do you got over there? Hope it's uh, as cool as this. Well, Kevin, you know, I saw you getting up in that thing, and I didn't think you'd make it. So uh, congrats to you on that, fitting two grown men in that monster truck. That's a, some tight quarters over here. But what we have here, world-renowned Pat artist hat yeah what would what? you call it
Pat Milchuk. <laughs> she's, she's the most famous person here, I will tell you that, bar none. We have a lot more from Pat and Simply Pat's Hats when we come back from our town Paxton. There's a lot more coming up. You're not going to want to miss it. From your local news leader, Our Town Paxton continues now. And we are back here in Our Town Paxton. I'm joined here by Pat Milchuk, Simply Pat's Hats. There's a special way to wear this hat. Tell me a little bit about it. I'll, I'll be done. Polyurethane straw. But it's uh, all of this is hand done. And there's a way to wear a hat and a, not a good way to wear a hat. So I'm gonna put this on your head okay. so you can see what it looks like. Oh, perfect, here oh, we go. Okay. <laughs> here we go. And you use a little bit of attitude. Attitude. Yes, absolutely. You put a little tip to it, and then it brings out the beauty of the hat, okay? So, what do you think? Isn't that a I think it's, I've never worn a hat like this before. Tell me a little bit about why you got into hat making this whole business. You said there's a special word for it. Because that's what my mother said that I was going to do back when I was a little kid. <laughs> no, I've sewn all my life. I love design, totally love design. And that's why each hat is different. Once I make a hat, you'll never see it again. I'll never make it again. It's one of a kind design. And they're the most beautiful things that everyone, they're my babies. Is there a favorite that you maybe have created for somebody that really stands out to you? Uh, actually, uh, I have one lady in um, Pebble Bleach, Pebble Bleach, yeah, and I do some outrageously beautiful hats for her. The fascinators are cute, but a uh, real milliner doesn't consider a fascinator a hat. 
and that's a milliner for you. We have our standards. <laughs> you have your standards, yeah. These are beautiful hats. I've never seen anything like this one before. Maybe I'll keep this one on for the rest of our town. What do you think? Okay, for a while anyway. Okay, I'll give okay. it back. I'll give it back. Next, we're going to send... walk off with it. <laughs> I won't walk off with it. Next, we're going to send it over to Brandon. You're having fun here. Where are you? What are you doing? Well, man, I'm right across from you. I saw you wearing that hat. You look like you belong at the K Kentucky Derby. It looks great on you, by the way. I'm here at the foam pit. I found the uh, kids area. I don't know if they did this to me because I'm the same size as or I don't know, but uh, I'm here in the foam pit. Probably going to get in it later. We got some bubbles going on and uh, a lot more. Hey, look at that. Woo, that was a pretty good one. All right, hey, you want to do some bubbles? No, all right. Hey, here you go, here you go. Bubbles. Swinging around. We got a lot more from our town, Paxton. We got bubbles. We got a foam pit. We got kids, free food, ice cream, monster truck. Downtown, the mayor's here. Come down, our town, Paxton. We'll see you in a bit. Town Paxton continues here on WCIA 3 News. I'm trying to build a Santa Claus beard. I don't know if it worked or not. Oh my goodness. Oh, I got some in my mouth. We are okay. getting all foamy. We are foamed up in our town, Paxton. Come out here for your free food. Oh. Yeah. What? What's going on? Here? Yeah, Kevin, get in here. What is Amanda, happening? we got some stuff to talk about for the six o'clock. Do. Why don't you take that away? All right, so first we're gonna announce the U Choose at the end of the summer. We are taking a surprise um, somewhere for the next hour town. We're gonna announce some finalists there. Then we also have a huge oh my god, this phone. A yeah. huge technology update <laughs> about what's coming here to downtown Paxton, and that's not all. We've got a huge celebrity, somebody who knows little show little called The Voice. Show. Oh, so yeah. that's going to be a pretty fun. So stick around here for 6 o'clock and we will see you in a little bit. <laughs>